How's it going everyone? It's Onyx here back with another video. And today I wanted to make a shorter video talking about the blue lock players that I think would have been better off on the Ubers team in the Neo Egoist League. In this video specifically, I will be going over who I think the best new back, midfielder, and striker could be for the team. So make sure to watch until the end when I go over my picks. Now, before I get into the details of this video, I know I've received a lot of comments asking me to do a video on who I think would do well on Barcha, but I am a bigger fan of Ubers as they are probably my favorite team at this point in the series. However, if you become a member of this channel and join the Diamond in the Rough tier or any tier higher than that, you will gain access to member-only polls where you can decide what my next video will be on. There is currently a members-only poll going on right now to determine what video I will be doing next week. So if you want to decide what team I do, make sure you check out that join button and consider becoming a member. Now, let's get back to the video. If you haven't made it to the new Egoist League arc yet in the manga, or just don't remember the details all that well, allow me to explain what I believe the ideal playstyle for someone on Ubers is. Ego describes the Ubers as a team that favors slyness and tactics, and players that have strong individual skills that can also work well in a system. I feel that it should also be mentioned that the term Contenacio is brought up the first time Ubers are mentioned. For those who don't know, myself included until I look this up, Contenacio is a term that describes the system Ubers uses, that being a defense-oriented system that utilizes man marking and sweeping. We also also know that Snuffy really wanted Barrow to join the Ubers' system and was ultimately forced to let Barrow play his style of football to get his way. Considering how vital Barrow seems in Snuffy's eyes to the team's success, I feel we'll be looking for a dominant striker for the Ubers, as well as any defensively adept, swift-footed, or highly aware players. But with that setup out of the way, let's take a look at who I think should have played for the Ubers. The first player I'd like to mention is someone that I think is definitely more of a sleeper pick, that being Otoya. When we were first introduced to Otoya, Ego ranked him as the fourth best striker in the Blue Lock program. Soon after, we got to see Otoya in action alongside Karasu during Asagi's tryout match for the Blue Lock 11 team. But ever since then, even including the U20 match itself, it seems that Otoya hasn't been able to reclaim that same glory. Even back in the U20 match, Otoya was the one who got subbed off for Baru in the second half, limiting what he could have accomplished that game. Otoya is also among some pretty elite company as he has been able to score a goal in the NES, something only 10 other blue lockers have done, and only 7 of those 10 have scored more times than he has. However, because he's a part of Barcha, one of the worst teams and the team with the least development due to it being the introductory game to the NEL, Otoya hasn't been given a lot of time in the new Egos League's 100 plus chapters and 2 plus years of development, and can often be forgotten about. Otoya is a ninja-like player with incredibly fast and stealthy movements that make him hard to track and keep a mark on. Considering that Ubers relies on man marking and sweeping, I feel as though Otoya would be a nightmare for the opposition to keep track of, especially in the fast-paced and robotic-esque system that Ubers is. When you have to be in charge of keeping track of the ball, as well as movements from players like Nico, Don Lorenzo, Sendo, and Baro, Otoya would probably be one of the last people you'd think to watch for, making him such a deadly threat. If I were to put Otoya on the current Ubers team, I'd most likely replace one of the midfielders and put Otoya on the wing, or have him share a forward spot with Sendo, keeping Baro still at the striker spot. But, speaking of previous top six strikers, another player that I think would work well in the Ubers system is Karasu. Although Yuki Mia is noted as having the best ball keeping skills out of the Blue Lock roster, I feel like Karasu may have taken the title since then, if not at the very least being a close second to it. I feel like Karasu really hasn't played in a match unless you've seen him do his signature, watch me hold off two players at the same time before I dot this sick fucking pass move. Along with Karasu's ball control skills and better than average passing, his defensive skills are also some of the best as he played as a defensive midfielder in the U20 match and continues to play the position on PXG. Not to mention that the dude is also relatively tall compared to the other players in the NES being around six foot. While it hasn't been confirmed or even hinted that Karasu is metavision as of right now, he still seems to be very aware of his opponents and seems to know their strengths and weaknesses. For example, during the U20 tryout matches, Karasu is pretty quickly able to pick out Asagi as the weakest link on his tryout team and continue to smother and harass him throughout the majority of the match. Either way, I think that Karasu's smart and quick thinking as well as his defensive capabilities would make him a great fit on the Ubers. Similarly to Otoya, if I were to fit Karasu into the current Ubers team, I would take out one of the no-name midfielders and throw Karasu in there, as that would most effectively let him contribute on defense and participate in moving the ball upfield and assisting Baro in scoring, while still remaining a threat himself. Continuing on the trend of good defensive midfielders, I feel like Raichi could also fit well into the Uber system. Like Karasu, we've seen Raichi primarily play the defensive midfielder position, especially in the Neo Egos League for Bastard. Even going back to the first selection when Raichi was playing as a back, he still managed to man mark people incredibly well. This combined with Raichi's new protractor defense that he used against Snuffy to slow him down in the Bastard vs. Ubers match gives him a wide variety of defense 
offensive options to help lock down opposing offenses. Not to mention that Raichi isn't a half bad passer and has incredible stamina, meaning that he could easily be relied on in the later stages of the game when most other players would be feeling tired. While Raichi may not be the most analytical thinker out of the blue lock roster, I feel as though he still works really well in the system and could succeed as a regular on the Ubers. Once again, I would get rid of another no-name Ubers midfielder and swap Raichi in as a defensive midfielder. Finally, moving on to someone I wouldn't play as a midfielder, Rayo Mikage. We saw Rayo play as a center back as a sub for Nico during the U20 match, and he did a really good job at containing Shido. Even though Shido was still able to score a second goal despite Rayo's efforts, I feel as though that second goal is more of a compliment to Shido in size play rather than a diss on Rayo's defending. It's obvious that Rayo has been underperforming on Manshine due to his inability to get off Nagi's dick. Rayo's dependency and attempts at elevating Nagi's level of play has resulted in his bids taking a significant hit in the rankings. While Rayo's offensive capabilities are better and have more potential than his defense, Rayo is one of the few players we have seen play at a back position and succeed as well as he did. Not to mention that if Rayo didn't have Nagi to worry about, his own development would probably be much better than it is on Manshot. Considering Rayo has experience in man marking one of the best strikers in the Blue Lock program, especially considering he had Sai feeding him passes, Rayo still has potential to be one of the better defenders to come out of the program. Not to mention the fact that Rayo has shown signs of tapping into or having Metavision in the Manshot vs. Bastard match. And we've seen what a Metavision using defender can do via Nico in the Bastard versus Uber's match. While Rayo's mental capabilities on the pitch may not be as strong as Nico's, Rayo is a much more physically dominant player than Nico, and I personally feel as though Rayo has a good amount of potential to shine. If I were to play Rayo realistically in the current Uber system, I would most likely sub him in for Nico instead of Aryu, as Rayo is very similar to Nico, and Aryu's skill set is too rare for him to be swapped out so carelessly. But if I wanted to be lame and make the team even more overpowered than it is on paper, I would once again replace one of the no names and keep Rayo as a back. Finally, moving on to the forward position, I feel as though the two candidates I am most confident in putting at the striker position instead of Baro would either be Isagi or Rin. I'm sure it's apparent how similar Isagi and Rin are to each other, the major difference being that Rin is a more advanced version of Isagi. But since Rin seems like the more logically sound choice for the uber striker spot, I'll go over why I picked him first. To start things off, would you be able to name me the only two players that have scored a hat trick in the Neo Egoist League? These two players are of course Baro, the current striker for the Ubers who smoked Barcha 3-1, and Rin, who scored a hat trick against Manshine City. Also beating them 3 to 1. Now, knowing how PXG's team worked in hindsight, Rin's hat trick is extra impressive because this means that Rin either scored three goals in a matter of 15 minutes or scored some goals in the first 15 minutes, then got subbed off for Shido, who couldn't score a single time during his 15 minutes, got subbed back off for Rin, who then capped off his hat trick. Considering how good Shido is as a pure scorer, especially with Charles at his side, I'm more inclined to believe my first hypothesis, meaning that Rin really scored on Manshine 3 to 1 in 15 minutes or less. Needless to say, Rin fits incredibly well into his system as we've seen him succeed both as the striker for the Blue Lock 11 team and as well in his squad on PXG before he was combined with Shido for the match against Bastard. We also know that Ren has access to Metavision and most likely possesses a version better than Isagi's as highly speculated that Ren had some form of Metavision since way back in the first second selection match and most likely had this ability before he even came to Blue Lock. Not to mention that Ren is essentially a more physically dominant version of Isagi, being able to operate as a solo playmaker and standing at a stature of 6 foot 1. But enough of the Ren glazing, now on to Isagi. As I mentioned a multitude of times, I am of the firm belief that Isagi is just an inferior version of Rin. However, there is one aspect of the game that I think Isagi is undoubtedly better than Rin at defense. Isagi has been receiving compliments on his defensive skills since the first selection, achieving feats such as cutting off Nico and Rayo's passes, and even now is getting complimented by pro scouts for his ability to both defend and go on the attack, especially after his performance against Manshine. Even more so, the amount of poaches and steals Isagi got against the Ubers, and more importantly Baro, was crazy and is one of the things that I believe really pushed Isagi's third contract offer as high up as it got. Considering how good Isagi is at playing box to box, which is something that is highly beneficial to Ubers in their system, I feel as though Isagi could find some real success playing for the Ubers. In a realistic setting, I would swap Isagi in for either Sendo or Baro. However, for Rin, I really don't think he deserves anything less than the lone striker spot on Ubers. However, for a more overpowered team, I would have a dual striker system in place for Baro and Rin, substituting out one of the no-name midfielders. For Isagi, I feel you would either have to pair him up with Sendo or Baro, depending on specifically what you are looking for out of the potential duos. And once again, I would be benching a no-name midfielder. When it comes down to it, out of all the players I mentioned, I feel as though Rayo would make for the best back, especially considering 
considering he was the only actual back that I named. While I did have some positive notes for Usagi at the end of my analysis, I feel as though Rin would better fit into the striker position for the Ubers. While the competition for best midfielder is tough, and the biggest out of all three positions, I feel as though in a potentially shocking twist that I would pick Otoya for his unique stealthy abilities and his potential as a goal scorer. If I were to implement all three of these players into a realistic Ubers team, I would substitute Barra for Rin, Nico for Rail, and then Rico for Otoya. If I was trying to build the strongest Ubers team, however, I would play the team in a 3-4-1-2, still having Lorenzo swap with Nico on offense rather than Rayo. I would also leave Otoya on the right side so we could better link up with Rayo and Rin, as these are two players that he would most likely be the most comfortable and familiar playing with, and vice versa. While this new formation may be a bit more offensive than Ubers would normally be, considering the talent I have assigned to this team, I feel like this change in format is more than worth the defensive sacrifice. What do you guys think would benefit most from joining the Ubers? Let me know down in the comments below, and if you'd like to decide which team I cover next, make sure to check out becoming a member on this channel. And before I end the video, I would just like to shout out Fofo Sukuyomi, as he is the first person to become a member of this channel. But as always, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.